The likelihood of Russian and German tanks fighting in some future war in Europe is extremely slim. The Russia's next generation T-14 Armada could pose a formidable threat to Germany's main battle tank, the Leopard 2. Although both war machines are hailed as exceptional pieces of military hardware, however, one has to come victorious out of a battlefield. We thought it would be interesting to compare Germany's Leopard 2 and Russia's latest T-14 Armada. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell button so you are alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. The Leopard 2 first entered service in 1979 and succeeded the earlier Leopard 1. The latest variant, Leopard 2A7 Plus, is an exceptionally well-balanced and well-engineered MBT. The frontal arc of the Leopard 2's armor can withstand large caliber kinetic energy rounds. The production of Leopard 2A7 started in 2014. Around 3,600 units of different variants of Leopard 2 have been built so far. Per unit cost of the latest variant is around $8.9 million. It holds a crew of four people and comes with a whopping weight of 67 tons. The tank is around 36 feet long, 13 feet wide, and 9 feet high. On the other hand, the Russian T-14 Armada is a formidable looking beast. The tank is based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform and comes with advanced features. Due to high cost, the serial production of the tank has not started yet. The delivery of test batch of 100 tanks is expected by 2022. As of today, the inflation adjusted cost of the tank is around $4.3 million. Operated by a crew of three people, the tank comes with a weight of 55 tons. The tank is 29 feet long, 11 feet wide, and 11 feet high. Number two, the German tank is powered by a diesel engine with power rating of 1500 horsepower. The tank has an automatic transmission and comes with four forward and two reverse gears. The engine can push the tank to top speed of 43 miles per hour on road. The Leopard is outfitted with four fuel tanks, which have a total capacity of approximately 1,200 liters, giving a maximum road range of about 280 miles. Similarly, the T-14 is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine that produces 1,200 to 1,500 horsepower. The tank is equipped with 12-speed automatic gearbox attached to the engine, making it a single unit that can be swapped out in the field in less than 30 minutes. The tank has seven 700mm road wheels on both sides and can adjust the suspension of two first road wheels. The tank can run on road with maximum speed of 56 miles per hour and has operational range of 311 miles. Number 3. The Leopard 2 is fitted with composite armor kit which is built with nano ceramics materials, modern titanium, and steel alloys to offer 360 degree protection. Protection of the whole floor is also increased to withstand blasts from landmines and IEDs. Because the tank's armor is modular, damaged modules can be easily replaced on the battlefield. The Leopard is also equipped with protection in the event of a nuclear, chemical, or biological attack. On the other side, Armada's hull is built with a modular armor system. The armor is made of steel, ceramics, and composite materials. The crew capsule is isolated from the automatic loader and ammunition to increase crew survivability. Its forward portion is covered with reactive armor, whereas the rear is fitted with bar armor to provide added protection against anti-tank RPGs. The nuclear, biological, and chemical protection, automatic fire suppression system, and smoke grenade dischargers aboard the tank further enhance the crew's survivability. The new Afghanit Hard Kill Active Protection System on the tank defends incoming anti-tank guided missiles, rockets, and RPGs. Number 4. The Leopard 2 is equipped with stabilized optical periscope for commander for day and night operations. The periscope features thermal imaging device, a daylight camera, an image fusion function, fiber optical gyros, and laser range finder. The gunner's station is outfitted with a stabilized main sight and an auxiliary sighting telescope. For front and rear vision, the driver is equipped with a thermal and night vision system. On the contrary, the Armada is outfitted with multi-spectral sights with a visible scope, thermal channels, and laser range finders for commander and gunner. 
The tank is equipped with wide-angle cameras to provide a full 360-degree visibility and situational awareness. The tank comes with electro-optical and infrared-based laser warning receivers. The fully automated fire control system provides the solution by analyzing the date from muzzle reference system and wind sensors. The tank is also armed with advanced battlefield management system. Number 5. The German tank is armed with a 120mm smoothbore gun capable of firing all standard NATO ammunition and newly developed programmable HE rounds. These programmable, multi-purpose rounds can engage targets behind cover and within buildings. A total of 42 rounds are carried inside the tank. 27 rounds are stored in a special magazine in the hull, while remaining 15 rounds are stored in the turret bustle. The main gun can also fire anti-tank missile capable of destroying a target 3.7 miles away. The secondary weapons include a remotely controlled 12.7mm machine gun and a 7.62mm machine gun. On the contrary, the Armada is equipped with an unmanned turret as the crew sits inside the hull. The new unmanned remote turret of the tank is armed with a 125mm smoothbore gun with autoloader. The tank can carry a total of 45 rounds. According to some Russian sources, the T-14 Armada could be armed with a new 152mm cannon in the future. The main gun can also fire new laser-guided missile with a range up to 5 miles. The secondary weapons of the tank include 57mm grenade launcher, a 12.7mm machine gun, and a remote-controlled 7.62mm machine gun. The Leopard 2 has been produced in large numbers, while serial production of T-14 has not started yet. The German tank is equipped with heavier and advanced armor. On the other hand, the Armada has a lighter profile and smaller dimensions. Per unit cost of T-14 makes it a lot cheaper than its western rival. In terms of sensors and communication, both tanks are equally equipped with latest tech. Both tanks have identical engine power. T-14 can run faster than the Leopard 2 and has more cross-country operational range. As far as firepower is concerned, the Russian tank is equipped with an auto loader and the Leopard 2 is manually loaded. The primary guns of both tanks are effective up to 2 miles of range. However, T-14 is armed with heavier gun and has 5 miles of anti-tank missile range. Some defense analysts believe that the Russian Armada has every chance of winning one-to-one -one battle against the Leopard 2A7 due to superior specifications. However, it's also worth noting that while Armada is untested in the battlefield, the Leopards have never been put up against some of the world's most advanced tanks as well. The Germany is reportedly working on a Leopard 3. Will it be an answer to Russia's next generation T-14 Armada or merely preparation for future warfare? So. Which tank do you think would win in a one-to-one -one battle? The German Leopard 2 or the Russia's T-14 Armada? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. As always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like.